Hello and welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. This reading is about the journey ahead, uh, so whatever situation you may find yourself in, just a bit of guidance moving through that. Um, as always, we've got our two, two piles? No, we have three piles here. Pile one is on the left, pile two is in the middle, and three is on the right. The timestamps will be in the description box below, along with the cards that I'm using. And there's also a link to my Facebook page, so if you would like a private reading with me, you can contact me on there. I hope you enjoy your reading. Hey group one and welcome to your reading. If you chose the blue lace agate, this one is for you. Okay group one, so today, today's reading is about the journey ahead, moving forward, a uh, bit of guidance in, in whatever situation it may be. I'll try to keep it away from relationships but you can't help it so we'll see what comes out. <clears throat> it's a pretty intense time in your life I can see here by all the cards that I've got for you group one. Um, we'll just start out with the past energy and what you've been working through. So we've got the Five of Cups, Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands. Oh, this is big stuff. You've been in a deeply processing state of mind potentially over the last maybe months, maybe even years, but um, days, weeks at this time. Maybe I think still in it, uh, still quite processing a deep loss potentially. Um, you could be really looking at maybe it's a relationship or a work situation, a job, or it could be so many different things. But you you seem to be looking at how much you've invested, where it's at, how far you've come, like really looking at everything. And there seems to have maybe have been a big loss that's triggered this um, need to reevaluate just how much you're carrying or just how much you're doing or have been doing or just how much this situation has been um, really difficult to navigate. Um, maybe it's because of somebody else that's really hard to deal with. Maybe it's a relationship or family situation, so many different things. We've got a lot of tens um, on the table here uh, and a couple of nines as well. So it's it really does speak to a big cycle ending potentially maybe it's a whole new chapter of life that's beginning for you um yeah there could potentially be um some trouble with legal issues and things with the queen of swords and some of the other cards on the table in this reading um so some people this could be um family court do criminal court any sort of court um or legal issue or policy issue with business or um or, or a person you're up against an authority potentially there's 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 um or somebody's hard boundaries or somebody's cold-heartedness um yeah there's there's a lot of potentials here that you've been navigating in the past like if yeah i feel like there could be a significant pain surrounding a person in the past that's very hard to move on from and let go of i think move on from sounded felt wrong when I said it so um to let go of I think to con to finish the process the release of the pain and the baggage attached to that situation I think it's quite a big shadow there in your past um that you're still coping with you're still processing you're you this is imagery is so beautiful for that energy you're in in regards to all of that the heart here in the bottom is locked in a cage if you can see that so trying to detach from, from, some, from some of these deeper, grieving, painful emotions that would have been spilt in the past in regards to this situation. Just looking at it like this is, this is too much or this is um, something's got to give, um, that sort of energy there. So in the path ahead, we've got a lot more positive energy coming in with the Ten of um, Pentacles, Nine of Cups. To clarify the Nine of Cups, I did pull the Wheel and the, um, the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles as well. So exactly what I thought it was. I didn't really need it by the looks of these cards, but um, it's the way I saw it with the Queen of Pentacles, uh, Queen of Swords. Looking at this, it's like you know your future is going to be brighter. You're going to make it so because of the lessons you've learned or the harsh blows that you've been dealt, and what you've managed to um, take from that lessons, what wisdom, all of that understanding uh things you won't do the same again that sort of thing like this 
certain understandings of different characters as well, which you will be super aware of and not allow that to affect you in the future because you'll be consciously aware. Um, but anyway, I, there's a new chapter here for you. The Ten of Pentacles um, can be talking about so many different things like a family life, the longevity, the bigger picture that you're working towards. Maybe it's that you want to have a, a family or a business or you know, a community that you feel connected to or that sort of thing. And so the, the sadness, the heaviness and the things that you're leaving behind or have recently chose to leave behind or maybe they've left you behind. Um, that is also, and you know it, so that you can uh, have a more prosperous life and, and shed that skin and come into something else, something new. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles, so there's an opportunity here for, for a new life, um, for a new beginning, for a whole new world, for whatever you choose. Your wish fulfillment is there for you if you want to go for it. You can. You absolutely can. As, and I feel like when... Um, when we suffer a lot of setbacks and blows and feels feelings like rejection or anything like that, it can be hard to keep a picture, like keep a um, clear picture of our self worth and what we are capable of, because it feels like you know we can feel quite low after so much so much loss or um, disappointment. We can feel you know like really carry that into our own feelings about self, and so there's a. There's a, there's a faith needs to be restored in self, I'm feeling a little bit in your ability and what you deserve and that trust as well that the universe knows your heart and will bring you um, exactly what is right for you. The challenge, the Knight of Pentacles, so straight away I was, the challenge will be devoting yourself to this new path and releasing the past. The challenge may be having to show up every single day and maybe not seeing all the results at the start. Maybe it's going to be um, something that's very slow moving and building. Um, my cat needs to come inside. So yes, maybe this um, is something that is going to take a long time and a lot of devotion um, and not seeing the results straight away and that may be the challenge for you to have to, maybe it's to start again on a different path. Um, we've got strength here as well and justice reversed. So this, for those people that are uh, potentially having legal issues with the Justice Reverse card, it could be that um, whatever is decided is uh, maybe not in your favour or you feel that it is an injustice. Um, and so this having to have the courage to face that and endure whatever sentence or um, outcome may be the challenge for you for those people bringing it back now to other situations um the challenge yeah devotion to the path can be a challenge sometimes when we don't see all the results straight away and having this um bravery to walk away from injustice and things that are not fair to you to protect your own heart and to devote yourself to what you know is true to this to give yourself a sense of um, stability and that you can rely on you as a solid friend as well to stand up for any injustice that may be a challenge for you to stand up for yourself may be a challenge for you and you may feel trapped or that yeah like a, a setback may make you feel like you can't move forward but believe that you can um, what will help we've got the four of pentacles four of cups and the and the eight of pentacles so gratitude, gratitude, gratitude will help <laughs> always. But we've got, I just felt that so strongly with this Four of Pentacles, like a deep, soft gratitude for what you have and a connection, like really, like because especially when something has been taken or there's been a big loss or there's a lot of heavy burden, it can be hard to see the line, see what is really great, but that is what is going to help you and moving out of perhaps this energy of feeling like you know focusing on what isn't working out the burdens all that sort of stuff yeah you are in a state of processing and you're allowed to do that and take your time but 
to not stay there and to continue on your path of, of um, self-development and mastering your craft and devotion, again, devotion with the Eight of Pentacles. It's similar to the Knight of Pentacles in that it is devoted and it is reliable and it does show up every single day and try again just a little bit each day. It doesn't have to be perfect. Perfect is unattainable. Um, but just, yeah, it, a dedication to the journey, to the path. And see all these pentacles that fall off his, his back behind him. It's all these little achievements and things he's learned along the way. So he is gaining, gaining so much substance because of his experiences. And so will you. So do you. So do we all. Um, okay, where are we? What will help? Yeah, there may... The, the, you may be as well um, quite dissatisfied with somebody who's a bit closed in their energy or a bit cold or um, reserved. That may be a challenge here for you as well. So what would help, again, in the advice section, Eight of Pentacles, just you keep doing you, keep showing up at your table and giving it your best and work with your cycles and learn what you can about yourself because that's what this is about at the end here. It's a, there's a, also with the Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups, I'm getting this energy of working on um, self-worth, uh, feelings of lack of self-worth and maybe um, the situation has left you feeling like you're not worthy and that's not true at all. So some, some of the work on feelings of lack or feeling like you're not enough or anything like that, shifting that into feeling like you know, you've got a good firm foundation underneath yourself and you're supporting yourself and knowing you're filling yourself with positive affirmation and uh, recognizing your abundance and sitting in a vibration of gratitude and yeah I feel like it's a more um, being careful and gentle with your energy with yourself with your mind with your thoughts that sort of stuff is there um guidance five of swords ten of cups in the world so another ten card we've got here so Five of Swords can often be about a battle that nobody is the winner in. It is like, <laughs> there's quite a bit of blood here on the battlefield and they're both walking away from the situation um, somewhat disturbed or, uh, you know, not, not feeling victorious. The Ten of Cups is here. There's a lot of indication here, especially with the court stuff, that this could be about a family breakdown as well, this sort of energy or something that was like you maybe you've devoted a lot to it. Maybe it was a business. Maybe it was um, sharing a business with a, fam with a family member or a friend or a partner or a marriage or just <laughs> the list goes on. But in what will help, we're closing that chapter out. There's so much here about allowing a cycle to end, allowing a chapter to close so that you can have a new world, so that you can have a new a new cycle and rise again, so that you can be reborn uh, and move on to the next chapter. I guess it's uh, this energy... Um, is Sometimes it's walking away without having all the answers or a sense of closure. Um, that can sometimes it's giving yourself that closure and, and through walking away from drama and conflict and in towards a, something that you know is a bit more deserving of your heart of your attention your energy um, that's going to bring you a bit more emotional fulfillment and less strain um, allowing yourself to learn from these cycles close it out and move on move forward um, destination we have the hermit the Judgment card, the Nine of Wands and the Two of Wands. So it does indicate it's going to the legal matter, if that's for somebody out there. It's just so many justice, judgment, uh, swords, energies. Um, it may be that the judgment has been called and you feel like, you know, it's caused you to make a major change. If this, the outcome of this situation is not as you hoped it would be, it may isolate you or it may make you feel like you have to take a different path or it may make you feel really um, tested uh, or judged in, with the judgment card, but it also brings whatever the decision made, if it is a legal situation, it brings you, um, it brings you where you need to be. It's, it, it's for you, not to you. And there's a lot of wisdom in that with the, um, Hermit and the Judgment card, bringing it back to any other meanings. This, these two cards alone are massive in, when it comes to divine awakening and realisation. Um, 
epiphanies and and hearing the calling connecting into your own inner guidance making a judgment call to rise again to be resilient to try again to um, not give up but to take a new path to allow whatever if this is out of your control whatever this is if this is a judgment on you or from somebody else or um, you've been you're feeling isolated or left away from like cut off from the the people you love or the, the situation of the past if you're feeling that way it's all for you um, all of this um, all of this is for you to learn and evolve and grow um, and know more of yourself with this nine of wands because resilience teaches us so much about ourselves having to be tested and endure things can definitely teach us a great deal about our strengths and what we're capable of but you're aware here in the destination you could be destination overseas with this globe here for some people connecting to this reading but the destination is not this wand it's not the old life it's not the ten of wands it's not the burdens and the things that you've experienced and done with there's nothing left around this wand for you it is a barren land you've learned a lot queen of queen of swords here moving forward looking to a new horizon just like this lady here to new adventures new lessons new life new world literally new world the world card is here in this reading so oracle cards we have for you is beyond name and beyond form beyond night and beyond day beyond the mask of personality i am spirit soul it's this spirit soul affirmation um exactly and that speaks to the hermit card and the judgment card so whatever this situation you find yourself in no matter how challenging it is it's so that you can release these old patterns and old life and embrace your best life a better life a more abundant life which you're moving into so even if it feels like you're uh, been taking it have you know sidestepped a couple steps you haven't at all you're exactly where you need to be um, the more I attune my energy with appreciation, the more the universe will deliver exactly this energy as well with what would help section where, you know, um, the, you, I feel like the life is offering you a lifeline here of some kind. It's offering you an opportunity. Um, but if, if you're staying focused on what hasn't worked for too long, you, I don't know, I don't want to say anyone's going to miss an opportunity ever because we don't miss what's right for us. But aligning with gratitude will bring you a lot more opportunities and a lot more abundance. And that's that four of pentacles energy. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. Damn straight. And the last oracle card we had was from the wisdom of the golden path field of dreams. I'll just read a little bit of it here. Don't be discouraged by recent setbacks if you were if you are where you, you are where you need to be right now. Surrounded by a field of dreams, you soon achieve all your heart's desires. With little more patience, your dream becomes reality. With an open heart and mind, your life is filled with love. With a loving attitude, you shall enjoy each day. Be grateful for your life and the many blessings you're about to receive, for this will lead you to a greater abundance and joy. Focus on all that is beautiful in your life and everything else will fall into place. Beyond your thoughts, there is a knowing that embraces all knowledge. And within this knowing, you will discover the true beauty of life and realize that yours is a field of dreams. Oh, I like that. I was only going to read like the first bit, but it's like confirming everything I've said in this reading. I love it so much. This is your opportunity to like you know, absorb everything you've been going through in this queen of swords energy right process speak to god open up that dialogue daily um and then follow that calling leap forward and go for it whatever it is okay group one i'll leave that there for you guys i hope that gave some sort of clarity for um where it's at right now and i look forward to reading again soon bye hey group two welcome to your reading if you chose this white stone i'm not sure what its name is this one but it's white and it's got little bits of gray in it it's a bit all broken up inside um yeah so if you chose that that's and then this will be your reading group two we're looking at the journey ahead a bit of advice for moving forward in whatever situation you might find yourself in <clears throat> group two this is an intense reading just wow first of all let's jump straight in with the past energy what you've been navigating maybe this is the last few days maybe weeks maybe years maybe months 
but we've got the six of swords the devil and the tower this is some big stuff you have been navigating some really stormy seas each card is so windy and stormy and hard to grab a hold of anything it feels just like a total uh, natural disaster like a cyclone just full-on energy so this could be a toxic relationship this could be your own behavioral patterns and self-sabotage this could be a drug addiction or any kind of addiction this could be a toxic work environment you apply yourself here but this this six of swords is a spiritual initiation card it's a card about moving through these stormy pet pa periods patches of our life into more calmer waters taking with us very little baggage she's she's got one suitcase she is traveling light it really is about moving through a process where we don't collect baggage and trauma along the way so you may be in a process of or have been throughout this whole journey trying not to um, collect too much collateral damage from this situation it's real really toxic energy in the start of this reading here and so you know you know what this is for you you know if this has been a person that's been manipulating you or a situation that you just need to get yourself out of or have recently because the tower is here and this is in the past position it's in the most recent past so very recently it could be and honestly at the time of recording this although these are collective these collective readings are um timeless at the time of recording this, this month is very tumultuous um, and I'm seeing a lot of that in the collective where people are, um, you know, this, this devil energy, this, these toxic traits and behaviours are coming to the surface so that we can annihilate them or so that we can rec recognise them for what they are and work through them or however it applies, but it's coming up. It's full of upheavals and endings this month, this week. Um, and so I'm not surprised to see this this energy here for you in the recent past the tower i think i think a lot of us have had a tower moment in the last week at least or two weeks month maybe uh, so yeah something has ended potentially so maybe it may have come completely as a surprise to you as well it might have been a total shock that um that this has ended uh because it might have been something you've invested a lot into or felt like you know it was a very big important part of your life like there's something there that's so you're so magnetized to um and that could be for codependency reasons it could be for a trauma bond it could be um so many different things an addiction or yeah the self-sabotage the list could go on but the most interesting thing about all this energy is this storm you are navigating stormy seas yeah um but the path ahead is is the eight of cups look at this you're walking away from this you are walking away yeah i did notice that this flame is still burning hot so you may still be tempted to come back to this you may and it may be really really hard for you to move forward and move towards this this is a this is a very small piece of of the source you're walking towards by the way just put that out there but i feel like this situation you that it's out of your hands now um and you're really needing to release it and walk away we've got the next in uh, moving the path ahead <laughs> we've got judgment and the magician something is bugging my eye so we're walking away from potentially this this flame of love or a creative endeavor or something you've invested a lot of your passion into there's something here that's the, the flame is still lit i can't help but notice that f um more than any other time i've pulled this card and it, do, it sort of does speak to all this fiery attractive energy that can be in the devil and the tower card sometimes that chaos and intensity can be very overwhelming and, and alluring for some people um and that that also is the nature of the trauma bond but um in the path ahead where we're recognizing and we're, we're answering that calling as well where um, we know we've got a different destination than what we maybe thought. We know we've got a, a different 
destination to walk towards. So it's a matter of following that calling from the heart space, something that it's been, that's perhaps it's a new awareness for you, or perhaps it's something that's been whispering for a while, but it's time to take your power back. And the path you are being called to take is one of creation. It's one of um, it's mastery and craftsmanship and it's all about presence it's all about simplicity it's it's not uh, I mean for some people it could be achieving greatness and that's fantastic however you perceive greatness but what I think this is and what I feel the most is like just the way just the way the body language of this deck <laughs> I'm sure you've seen this on other channels this deck is phenomenal for its body language and its expression in the people so walking away from this flame to this inner calling in the heart that pulls you forward towards focusing on the now. This person, like, I'm getting this calling to, to, uh, to ascend and listen, and, but that ascension is here now in the physical. It's, it's creating, it's learning, it's growing. It's getting back to your path and just being in the moment and being activated by the old present life moments. Gratitude being of being here now that that principle be here now a deep presence to what you because then you can create everything because you're not focused on the past worried about the future you're here enjoying the moment and having fun with it you deserve it's like about i feel bringing more fun back into life again bringing life back into life again for some people because this could have been really draining uh for a long time and maybe quite a distraction from your true path and purpose, maybe. But at the same time, always acknowledging that these experiences are to help us grow and learn too. So it's never like, uh, it's never a wrong choice. Okay. <laughs> so challenge, the challenge of the Four of Cups. So the challenge, uh, when I saw the Four of Cups, I was straight away drawn to, drawn to the Eight of Cups being still alive, st like that, that light still there. So feeling like you're walking away from something before it's even ended or having no closure, that could be the case. But the Four of Cups um, in the challenge is, yeah, I, I do feel like accepting because there's this, this disappointment here is like, it's it's disappointed it's the grieving of what was i feel and letting go because what was it what was is still tempting for some of you i feel and so moving forward can sometimes be a little disappointing because it's not that but comparison doesn't help at the same time i get a few messages in um, the challenge section the other one was the six of wands and the hermit so you may be somebody who's a bit in the spotlight yourself or have a lot of people that rely on you or you could be just you know six of wands is a public victory it's a big persona sometimes it's leo's energy we've got leo virgo um capricorn and taurus nope not taurus uh, Libra here in this reading I didn't read group ones I don't think but it doesn't matter um, this could be your challenge as well in that you may just want to hide away from everything from the world and just go into your own shell and just sort of look after yourself but the world might be needing you still <laughs> your society your environment your community your family your friends whatever it is maybe still needing you to shine your work like showing up at work may be really hard as you go through this um, cleanse detox release you may be yeah the challenge may be that you want to be alone right now it may also be that um, the challenge is that you wanted the victory and you're feeling very disappointed that it never happened and that you are alone maybe maybe it's resonating with you that way as well it's a fair few different ways you can interpret so many cards but um, I just yeah the, the challenge is pessimism I feel sometimes for you in this situation just a little bit or, or defeated or just discouraged or disheartened might be the word too um, and not so enthusiastic yet to move forward maybe maybe not yet or it's or maybe it's like I feel as well it feels like tempted to go back it's that temptation energy uh, will be the challenge for you because just what I've got here as well the way this sits on the table she is looking and reflecting to where that devil energy was sitting to where the tower was sitting it's looking back at everything that hasn't worked out and it's feeling that sadness and, and it's all of that and it's looking back to it like I wonder if there's something still there for me but the, the, the cups are spilled what's there for you is this this cup that's being offered by this mysterious hand here in the card 
and that that hand is offering you success it's offering you maybe it's a relationship you've had to leave behind but it's offering you a healthier relationship potentially with the sixth one somebody who recognizes who you are in your light um that's not obviously for everybody but yeah it's the challenge maybe letting that past go and embracing this journey even if it means you have to go it alone for a while even if it means you don't have all the answers and everything outside of you is dark uh, it's just trusting that you've got that inner light that will guide you and that you will find your way. What will help? Page of Cups. Dreaming again. Getting creative and imagining again. Getting hopeful and creating dreams for yourself. The Eight of Swords in the World card came out as well with what would help. So I feel like this is a really fresh, bubbly, sweet, like kind, light-hearted humorous joyful easygoing sort of energy uh, and is obviously quite opposite to the eight of swords where it's like entrapped and dark thoughts and feeling really heavy and feeling like you don't have control of the situation and that everything outside of you is out of your control and even your thoughts and feelings are out of your control it's very trapped energy the imagery speaks to it but even in the, in the reflection she's trapped but her actual self is not that's the thing about the Eight of Swords is we, um, the only limitation there is yourself and you can always step out of this. So I mean, what will help with the World card is, is release yourself. You are not trapped. You can end this cycle. You can have a new world. You can step into it. But don't be afraid to dream and, and allow that in and connect with friends too. That could be definitely a, a card of connecting with platonic friends and healthy connections in that way being supported by people that are compassionate and understanding that support your dreams being creative expressing yourself through poetry and art yeah don't limit yourself is i think the guidance there uh, further in guidance we have the four of wands the queen of wands the eight of so pentacles so this is where we come back to life in the reading further guidance as you're moving forward so with the four of wands there was an oracle card that actually came out and i thought matched it too yeah the first one that came out tending the tasks to daily life affirmation i am patiently loving in my home and create a sanctuary for myself and those who share my space uh, and that's four of that's four of wands energy totally um and this is further guidance to tend to your home to tend to the space that you live in to make it nourishing and beautiful for yourself to make it a soft and squishy yummy environment so you feel nurtured and the place that you can maybe heal and relax um and the people that you share you may share your space with people so enjoying enjoying sharing space with the people in your home or in your community or maybe it's going out dancing with friends again as the pictures even show um it can be a beautiful connection to people of the soul family as well spiritual circles feminine circles um group work whatever it is that's that's the guidance is to connect with your people to have fun, to dance. And another another great message actually for this card is um, to, to be in the journey. And it brings me to the magician energy and what I felt as well before. Um, it's wonderful to have great aspirations and plans and goals and you know really dream and aim big, but it's important to be here now. And that's what this energy speaks to. It's not rushing the journey. It's not trying to get there already and achieve something, but rather just being here and knowing that the journey is the achievement. Like the magician is just focusing on where he's at. Um, so I, I feel like the guidance as well is don't try to project yourself too far out of this situation, even if it's in the most painful part, because there's so much to be valued here. There's so much happening for you. Um, so in, even in the painful part, enjoy nurturing yourself. Um, enjoy connecting with friends and let them uplift you. Move your body. Get moving and feeling good inside of your body. Um, eating well and that all that sort of stuff as well it's um we've got the queen of wands and the eight of pentacles as well in uh what will make you feel better leo's energy sagittarius and aries actually um leo is quite strong in this reading mm. uh, sorry i went off somewhere okay so queen of wands eight of pentacles mm, yeah 
This could be, especially if you're somebody who works, maybe you're a reader as well, or maybe you work in healing arts, or people think you have a motivational sort of job where you're encouraging people to achieve. It could be that sort of stuff. Um, or if that's your dream, then to go for it, to trust your message and your ability to help guide people, because the Queen of Wands is a leader. She is um, very influential or inspirational and motivating, very creative, and she's activated by her own truth and she's not afraid to speak it. She's just a very dynamic queen. We've got the Eight of Pentacles as well, so more talk about... Hmm. No, not more talk. That was group one. Eight of Pentacles. So this is about your mastery. This is about stepping into your power, taking your power back, finding your power within your community, finding your power within yourself, finding your own piece of self-expression, just continuing to learn about yourself. And stay exactly the magician energy. This is the magician learning. This is where the magician before he got there, right? Um, it's, it's mastering the craft. It's showing up to the table and trying all the different things that could help you. Maybe it's different health remedies to help you feel better in your mind and body. Um, maybe it's learning new things to help other people, adding to your own um, education, furthering your own just beautiful expression here the guidance is get on your path marry yourself <laughs> have a wonderful time doing it um, release the stuff that holds you down you're too brilliant for that that's what i'm hearing here all right so the destination for you we have the ten of cups the wheel and the ten of pentacles just throw it away here right it's like from come on guys let's pick up the start from the six of swords the devil and the tower that's the past you're walking away from. To the Ten of Cups, ten, the Wheel, and the Ten of Pentacles. Look at the difference there. This is, this is two isolated people on each card. The, the temptation in this isolated person trying to get out of this stormy sea without dying. And over here we've got somebody elevated on the top of the wheel. And their family and children and connection and love and abundance and just growth and prosperity. And it's wonderful. So... The destination for you as you release this, as you follow what you already know and just get on with your path and finding what you need to be doing, where your energy is deserving, you will find yourself in a whole new world, potentially with the family that you desire, if that's what you're looking for in life or the business flourishing as you wish or being of service where it makes you feel emotionally fulfilled. Uh, you're not just working for money, but you're working for, you know, emotional fulfillment and to make a difference. Um, the, these two tens are the bigger, bigger picture of your world. So, yeah, you're starting out the reading with the tower, but this has to crumble because it just, it, for multiple reasons, you will know why it has to crumble. And so you can have this, so that you can build this. The Wheel of Fortune is absolutely a, a new chapter for you. And... Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bottom deck energy for this reading was the nine of wands as well. So it's a resilience card. It's it's rising again. Alrighty, we got some oracle cards. So that's that tending to the daily life, just patiently loving in my home, creating a sanctuary for myself and who share my space. I love that. We had bright body inf uh, affirmation. My body is bright, beautiful, and filled and. Oh, sorry my body is bright beauty filled and full of love so yeah i guess the queen of wands as well if you especially if there's something that's really knocked your confidence in this situation of um upheaval the guidance in reminding that you are just gorgeous again because the, the queen of wands is very attractive for her own beautiful ways it's not for the stereotypical um ideals of beauty but for her own expression for her own just ah, you know, just be you and shine and, and love your body. Take care of your body. Fill it with things that are good for you, with, you know, as within, so without. And and so not only food, but the people you take in and the the conversations, the media, all that stuff, really taking care of you. All right, we've got um, birth and death affirmation. Birth and death are a, death are a natural part of life. I accept beginnings and endings as they unfold. One that speaks for itself, acceptance of closure. Um, I accept that good things come easily. I am a super attractor. Remember not letting this get you down, basically. 
know that good things are coming to you have that affirmation have that belief have that knowing when i uh, induce when i introduce joy to a situation i change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me now the other card that came out was power uh, and this is all about does it knowing that you deserve to be happy uh, and standing up for yourself when you feel like you're being taken for granted. Um, don't take things in life for granted, but being grateful, knowing that you truly deserve all of the blessings that come to you every day. Looking within instead of externally, just remembering your own power. Um, it also does uh, any financial concerns as well come up in this reading. Um, you have the power and it's an indication that you will soon turn that around if there was a financial issue for you. That, that would be restored by your own power, by your own choices. Um, now a bunch of other cards that came out, I only wanted the titles because they just were here. We got New Beginning, Intuition, Field of Dreams and Creativity. And all of these cards speak to all of this reading too, because the new beginning is exactly where you're at. Intuition, it's been guiding you to take this path and make this choice. Even if it wasn't your choice, your intuition's been telling you a lot about this for some time, and it makes sense, I'm sure. Field of dreams is about not letting a setback get you down um, and knowing that you are worthy and will have a beautiful life and creativity, Page of Cups energy as well knowing that you can and will create a beautiful life for yourself regardless of what setback or um, a tower moment you may have experienced. So group two, I'll leave that there for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that reading and I look forward to reading again soon. Bye. Hey, group three and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Dalmatian Palm Stone, then this one is for you. Okay, group three. Um, this is about the journey ahead, so it could be about any situation you find yourself in. Um, yeah, just a bit of guidance on how to move forward. So looking at the past energy, we're starting out with the world, the six of wands and the seven of pentacles. So this, this to me looks like a mixed bag throughout the whole reading. In fact, the bottom deck energy for this reading is the seven of cups. So it is a mixed bag. There is a few different things going on for you, I feel. Uh, some of them are great and some of them are not so great, perhaps. We're looking at the greatness, first of all, I think. And then this could also speak to the not so great with the world card in the past. You may have closed out a, a relationship or a chapter of your life that um, you've grown, outgrown, maybe. Um, could definitely be indicated there or maybe you've done some travel away from a situation or a literal place to bring yourself a bit of success a bit of recognition or um, a bit of achievement for you here with the six of um, wands and the seven of pentacles you've been very invested in creating a world for yourself here maybe you've dedicated a, a months years to this world maybe it's um, more recent weeks but um, yeah, you. It, I feel like your hard work might be paying off soon, um, or at least you've been showing up to create something for yourself here. You're very invested in what you're doing. Um, some of those things may be draining for you and a lot of hard work. I do get the feel you do have to do a lot by yourself. You maybe have a, a lot of um, responsibilities, a lot of different things that need your attention. Um, but yeah, you're you're rising up. You're you're learning. You're growing. You're, you've been getting recognition for your work in the recent past. Here, um, you've been celebrated. You've been acknowledged, or something like this. We've got moving forward energy. We've got the King of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Cups. So. This is the, in the path ahead energy. So it could be that your vision for your future, the leadership roles that you take, need more education, study or information. So with the Page of Swords, it could be that your path ahead is to go back to schooling, education or skill development in some way. Um, it could also be revising the direction of your path, the plan, all of that sort of stuff is here. It's really a thirst for knowledge energy. 
um, sort of going for it, believing in yourself, lots of confidence, lots of Leo energy in this reading with that confidence energy and the sun card is here. Um, <clears throat> oh, we've got we've got Leo and Cancer here actually with the Moon card too. But yeah, we've got with the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups. It's like the, the th things are changing for you, and it, it might not be certain of the which way things are changing. It could be numerous changes, some really good changes, and some other changes that might be a little uncomfortable or hard to let go of. That may be there for you, but mostly this is fairly positive i feel like it's the wheel of fortunes here the ten of cups it's like things are changing for you whatever you're learning or whatever you're embracing embodying or applying to your life it's gonna bring you a lot more emotional fulfillment like you've you just keep going sort of whatever it is you've been mastering you've been working on you've been tending to just keep going keep learning you've got this it's a it's looking like a positive path this king of pinnacle uh, king of wands could be an external person to you as well maybe it's a teacher maybe it's a leader maybe it's somebody who helps you on your path um it could be an intimate partner as well but i'm trying to keep this reading not so much about relationships they may come up but um, mostly it's your path ahead um in the challenge area we've got the moon the two of cups and the queen of cups so I feel like a lot of this is just your own sensitivities and maybe a little, a little bit of fear or some doubts about um, the future and, and where you're headed. Your intuition is guiding you and is leading you completely. This is such a strong intuitive cards. You're a very feeling person and you do find your way um, through your feelings. The challenge may be some of those feelings being a little overwhelming. Maybe it's sometimes that... Um, I see here there's a potential that maybe people take advantage of your kindness and that could be the case having to put some boundaries up and protect yourself I want a little bit more clarification on the, what have we got? <laughs> the Queen of Cups we've got the two of Pentacles so we are yeah like I felt at the start there may be a bit of um, different priorities that you need to or different things you need to prioritize different things that need your attention having juggle numerous different things and maybe having to do it all by yourself maybe you're a single parent maybe you're trying to run a business as well um oh i felt this card judgment <laughs> okay maybe you fear judgment maybe you're fearing your own judgment i did feel like a lot of this is like a self-confidence thing as well maybe or like just getting in your own way a little bit um just your own fears or self-doubts that just don't have any place here because i feel that you've got everything it takes to feel confident and successful in your path ahead um the two of cups could mean within the challenge area could mean that there's a connection or will be a connection around you that is not so harmonious or a little bit challenging potentially or it might be hard to find connections or support that's um on the same page as you maybe that could be the energy of that it's interesting to have usually positive natured cards in the challenge area I think it mostly does speak to your in your deeper the challenge will be your feelings okay emperor is reversed here so it could also be um yeah like the feeling of feeling taken advantage of or that you know you you don't have what it takes like the emperor reverse not feeling very powerful that could be it what will help with that We've got um, the Sun card, positivity, optimism, confidence, committing to your path, committing to your growth. Um, with the Three of Wands and the Six of Swords, it's, it's that mixed bag energy. Um, I do feel there's something that you could be leaving behind. Wait, this could also be to do with thought patterns or things you tell yourself, self-sabotage um, sort of things, uh, imposter syndrome that gets in your way of success maybe, that tells you no matter how much success you've had, there's that voice that says, oh, you can't do it, and that's not true. Um, we've got the sun card here and with the three of wands as well. So what will help is just staying open, staying optimistic, having fun, bringing that childlike spirit in, creating. The sun is all about that Leo energy, which is the inner child and its creation, expression and fun. Um, and the three of wands, after the two of wands, after we've you know made a choice to take a new path and let, potentially leave something behind, maybe it's like navigating just things being a little bit chaotic and too much to do, or maybe it's something you're actually leaving behind that was holding you back. 
but we're, we're just staying optimistic. What will help is staying optimistic about your future, about what is coming your way. Know that it is, um, it's, it's, there may be challenges along the way, yeah, but you have what it takes to navigate those challenges and take with you only the intelligence and wisdom that you've gained from the situations, not the baggage or the trauma. That's what I see there for you. In um, further guidance, the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new opportunity for you potentially, a new study or a career opportunity or something like this. Maybe it's a relationship opportunity, but it's a chance for you go, to go for it and, and start afresh or start anew or, you know, this is a brand new seed. So uh, nurture that. We've got the Five of Cups and the Five of Wands as well. So I'm, I'm getting here with the Sun card as well, Six of Swords. It's like... Put put your attention, to shine the sun on this little plant that you're growing, right? <laughs> the sun's up here somewhere. And it's it just nurture yourself, nurture your path and your own growth. And don't be afraid to walk away from conflict. People that are at uh, cross purposes with you or don't understand your purpose or path or, you know, dramas and things like that. There may be a sense of loss with something you may be leaving behind if, if that applies for you. There's a, quite an air grieving energy in the Five of Cups, a sense of disappointment when things haven't worked out um, and this is conflict and diff too many people involved or just too much tension, um, struggle and yeah, and it's I guess it's time to maybe feel those feelings if it's something you need to feel and release to let yourself have the time to grieve and release and let go and not engage but just move through um, and spending your spare energy on you know moving forward and just those baby steps towards nurturing yourself or studying or whatever it is that is going to bring you that ten of cups that we've seen already with the wheel of fortune there as well um, so in destiny destiny yeah destination we call it destiny. We've got the Four of Cups, Nine of Cups, the world. So yes, a part of it, like it's a mixed bag, this reading. A part of it is disappointment and feeling a little, um, just focusing a little bit on what isn't working and what is challenging. Um, that is a factor here, but the destination is, yeah, that is true. There will be disappointments, but there will also be so much wish fulfillment and that's worth more of your attention and focus. Um, don't spend too much time worrying about what isn't working and trust that any distract, um, what is it? Any uh, rejections or knockback or anything like that is divine protection. Everything that happens is serving you. Um, so even if you don't realize right now what it could be serving you for, know that you'll figure that out soon or you'll, the answer will be brought to you soon through manifestation or your own inner dialogue. But we've got the full card here as well. So look at this leap energy. Just go after your dreams. Don't let anything hold you back. Take a leap into the unknown. It's scary, yeah, but you will be just so grateful that you did the oracle cards for this reading match all of that energy completely i live in my power i do not give my power away but rather share it with others when i choose to um, i know that love is the answer to all my doubts and questions this is the essence of bhakti i live in devotion feeling good will bring me far more than whatever i thought i needed so that's this energy you can focus on those things that haven't worked out. You can, but you will. Um, feeling good will align you with a lot more. It's this potion that's waiting for you. There's an offer there for you. The universe is offering you a lot. Not, not just one cup, by the way. The next card was the nine of cups. So even if you think this is what you wanted and it hasn't worked out, what you actually wanted is just, <laughs> just on the horizon. Leap. Leap. Feeling good, just feel yeah, feel good and align. Um, instead of worrying about my future, I know all is well when I'm aligned in the moment. Just being okay with where it's at right now, even if it feels like a diversion. And the last card for group three is trust. Doesn't get any clearer than this for you guys today here. The lady featured on this card seems troubled and a little unsure of things. The water represents rising emotions. She senses that a change is looming, but she's not sure what changes will occur and how they will affect her. The white dove signifies the universal spirit, which brings good news. 
Behind everything, there is a single unifying force, which is unfathomable, unfathomable and unknowable. You, our world and the entire cosmos are governed by the same universal energy. This energy, which is the essence of all creation and life, also governs all change. Your life, like all of life, is forever changing and evolving. It's pointless to try and resist change, for, it's on, for it is the way of nature. In order to move forward, you must be willing to surrender to the universal energy of love. Trust, the, trust and allow it to guide you in the knowing that you have placed your trust in the greatest power there is. Without you, the power of the entire universe exists. Within you, without you, within you, the power of the entire universe exists. A power full of infinite creativity. Be bold and strong, for you are the creator of your own destiny. Look inside and you will find everything you need there. Just follow your heart and know that what is right feels right. All right, sorry. What feels right is right. Got the way around. I butchered that a little bit, but we get the gist. It's trusting, even if we're not so sure right now. Even if the Seven of Cups is on the bottom of the deck, it's okay. <laughs> All right, group three. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Gave you some sort of clarity and a bit of comfort with the uncertainty there. I look forward to reading for you again soon. Bye, group three.